I don't care how much money you have. If you've got wisdom, you've got knowledge, you know right from wrong, you know the right choices to make, that's going to make all the difference in your life. All the difference. You need to be humble, though. You have to realize that you don't know everything in order to receive any type of wisdom, any type of instruction. As soon as you have that attitude that says, oh, well, I just know everything, no one can teach you. And, you. and I'll tell you what, right now, you don't. You don't know everything. I don't know everything. I tried to explain that. I was, I was out soul winning a day. I was talking to a 19-year-old uh, young man. He said he was an atheist, but then he said he was still open to the idea of a God and stuff. But what it, what it turned out to be was that he just, he didn't like the God of the Bible. That's what he didn't like. It's, a, it's not that, uh, that, that he really thought that there wasn't a God. He just thought that, well, I don't like this God. So, so I don't want to have anything to do with him. And um, the good thing is, is that he was still relatively open to hearing something else. But as the, the conversation progressed, it almost seemed like there was nothing I could say to him at all to even be reasonable with, to, to be able to, to come to some type of agreement or understanding or, or you know, of some type of, you know, I mean, it's one thing to disagree with somebody, right? We're not all going to agree on everything, you know. I've got what I, what I believe to be true, and you, maybe that's a little bit different than what you believe, but um, when you just deny something out of hand, you answer a matter before you hear it, that's foolish. As the Bible says, you know, it's, it's shame and folly you know, that, um, you, if you answer a matter before you hear it, and, and that's true. You need to be, you know, how can you, you know, when you, when you start to get to this level where you just, you know, you can't even be reasoned with, you can't even spoken to, you're too lifted up. We all need to be humble. Like, I, and I'm going to include myself in this category. Like, I don't know everything. So I need to stay humble. And it's hard as a teacher to be able to stay humble. I have, I have a certain amount of wisdom and a certain amount of knowledge that I'm trying to, to instruct and, and teach here at this church. I, I, I've been... Um, deemed by other people as being qualified to do this. I think I am, and, I, and, and I'm sure that, that most of you here at least would agree with that, but um, I don't know everything. And in order for anyone to learn anything, you've got to be humble enough to recognize that and say, you know, there's areas where I, I need some more instruction. I need to be able to learn some more. And we need to be able to take fast hold of that instruction. When we, we hear something, you test it. Is this true? Is this a lie? Once you get the truth, you got to hold on to that truth and, 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 and remember that and keep it. The Bible says, take fast hold of instruction. Let her not go. Keep her for she is thy life. Verse 14, enter not into the path of the wicked and go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it, pass not by it, turn from it and pass away. For they sleep not except they have done mischief and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. This alone is good wisdom, talking about people who are wicked people. Some, there, there's kids that are brought up in, in great homes and stuff, but they're never taught about, there are bad people out there. There are wicked people out there that are just bent on doing mischief, that drink the wine, they drink the wine of violence, they're just about getting into trouble, and you've got to watch out for those people. That's a good advice, that's good warning and, and truth and letting you know, hey, there's bad people out there. You go around, you just walk around in life thinking that nobody's bad in this whole world. Unfortunately, you're going to end up learning the hard way, most likely. I mean, that's, that's the way things are going to happen. If you just think everything's good, everybody's fine, nobody's bad, there's no wickedness, and you live your life that way, it's just a matter of time before the wicked person finds you because you're going to be an easy mark because they're going to see right away. You've got your guard down, you don't know what's going on, you don't know the real world. We need to get wisdom. These people exist. We need to be aware of it. We need to be aware of their traits. We need to hear the wisdom and instruction from people who know the truth, and especially from God's word. 